A disease can be defined as any abnormal condition of the body. Diseases can be broadly divided into two types, they are infectious diseases and non-infectious diseases. Infectious diseases are diseases that can be spread from one person to another. They are caused by the entry of pathogens into the body. Most pathogens are microorganisms such as viruses and bacteria. Pathogens make people sick because they may damage body tissues, or produce toxins inside the human body. They can multiply inside the patient's body, and pass from one person to another. This is influenza virus. It causes influenza, flu. This is hepatitis B virus. It causes hepatitis B. This is human immunodeficiency virus. It causes acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS. This is coronavirus. It causes severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS. This is Vibrio cholera. It causes cholera. This is Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It causes tuberculosis. Most pathogens are microscopic. They are not visible to the naked eye. They can be transmitted from one person to another by different ways. Common cold and influenza are transmitted through the air. When an infected person coughs or sneezes, tiny droplets of saliva and mucus are expelled. These droplets may contain pathogens. When a person inhales the droplets, pathogens may enter the body and cause infection. To prevent diseases transmitted through the air, we can use tissue paper to cover the mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. You should also wear a face mask if you have any respiratory symptoms. A vector is a living thing which carries pathogens from one person to another. For example, some species of mosquito can carry the pathogens that cause malaria and dengue fever. To prevent diseases transmitted through vectors, we should prevent accumulation of stagnant water, to avoid the breeding of mosquitoes. We should wear long-sleeved and light-colored clothing, for outdoor activities. We can also apply mosquito repellent on exposed parts of the body. Cholera and food poisoning are transmitted through food and water. These diseases cause vomiting or diarrhea. Food or water contaminated by the vomit or feces of these patients contains the pathogens. To prevent diseases transmitted through food and water, we should wash our hands properly after going to the toilet and before handling food. We should also cook food thoroughly to kill the pathogens, and store food at an appropriate temperature. Hepatitis B and AIDS are transmitted through body fluids. Pathogens may be present in the blood, saliva, semen, vaginal secretion or breast milk. They can be spread by contact of the body fluids of an infected person through sexual contact, blood transfusion, breastfeeding, or sharing of needles. To prevent diseases transmitted through body fluids, we should never share needles. We should wear gloves when handling wounds. We should also wear condom properly during sexual intercourse. Athletes' foot and herpes can be spread from an infected person to a healthy person by direct contact through touching. Pathogens can also enter the body when you rub your eyes or nose with contaminated hands. To prevent diseases transmitted through direct contact, we should not rub the eyes with our hands. We should also avoid sharing towels with others.